Production car racing has a long and illustrious history in South Africa, starting way back when with a star modified series and moving through Group N and touring cars to what we have today, which really is the production car series. Now, at face value, this car is instantly recognizable as an Audi S4, and that's the whole idea behind this racing series. But once you get behind the wheel, you'll find that this is a pucker racing car, a car, in fact, that feels a lot more like the touring cars that we had some years back rather than a standard production car. We've come to Aldous Grubante, joined the Engine Extreme Audi team to get a sense of what makes this team tick and, of course, what it's like to be driven in and, in fact, even drive this car. The Engine Extreme Audi S4 Quattro of Michael Stephen won the 2013 Production Car Championship after a strong season that saw the muscular sedan score seven race wins and 17 podiums, with three poles and five fastest laps to its credit. We asked Mike where it all began. Motorsport for me started at quite a young age, with eight years old. I progressed through the ranks of karting, you know, going from GP juniors to the more senior classes over the years. The team took a de a, the decision to, to move into production cars in two mid-2005. And since then, you know, we've, we've raced Audi in production cars and uh, the last three years have, been, have proven very successful. So successful, in fact, that the 2013 title was the third Stephen managed to clinch for Audi. An impressive hat-trick and one that proves just how consistent the S4 was during the year. Audi also claimed the manufacturer's title. It's a car that we've taken off the road and we've modified a few bits and pieces to turn it into a racing car. Uh, it's a standard shell, standard engine, standard gearbox. You know, you put racing shocks in, you still keep the same as uprights and suspension. You obviously make one or two of them adjustable. All in all, it's a standard road car that you've taken and, and turned into a, a real racing machine. Real racing is also a good way to describe the tussle between the Audis and chief rivals BMW during the course of a closely contested season. Production cars is um, sort of a controlled formula as well. We have four-wheel drive, they have rear-wheel drive, but you know they have advantages as well. Better straight line speed, better braking, but the four-wheel drive means better acceleration out the corners. Standing starts were even banned. The four-wheel drive system had quite a significant advantage of a standing start. Now it's the other way around. The rear-wheel drives have a, an advantage, so there'll always be a debate about it, but yeah, there are controls in place to, to make sure that um, the formula is equalised. Keeping the Audi on the black stuff while lapping the Scribante circuit was my main priority. Last year, RPM TV had an Audi S4 as a long-term test car, and this is also an Audi S4, but an S4 with a difference, because as you can see, it's a racing car, and in fact, it's the very car that won the production car championship in 2013, driven by Michael Steven. Now, I've had the opportunity to drive with Michael in this car, and then I did a couple of laps on my own, and I have to tell you that this is quite a superb motor car. Just for a start, it has masses of power. The standard car, 245 kilowatt, they reckon this car produces around 330 kilowatt from exactly the same motor, and you can really feel it out there. Secondly, this is also a quattro driven car, all wheel drive in other words, but very much rear biased. And if you're not very careful with a throttle that has such a trigger line response, you really get the car stepping out like this. Quite disconcerting initially, but because the car communicates so well, it actually bolsters your confidence eventually. Really nice, meaty steering. The tires, of course, are not slicks, but there's a very slick like feel to them. Very planted and very nice once they're up to temperature. And then the most disconcerting part initially is the brake pedal, which uh, really feels unassisted completely. And you really have to stomp on the brakes to get them to work. So coming into a corner really quickly, as one does uh, in this car, you think that you're going to have brakes uh, from the moment that you stand on the pedal, and you really have to stand on them. Otherwise, it just doesn't feel as if the car is going to stop. But I have to say, generally, because you're sitting very low, because the suspension is set up to communicate so directly, it's a car that's unbelievably responsive. It's a car you get used to quite quickly, and that's probably the dangerous part, because I think if I'd spent another three or four laps, I would have gone a lot quicker, but I would have scared myself a lot more. For Mike, the engine Audi is as much his office as it is a race car. As team manager for Terry Moss Racing, he's as involved with the S4's preparation as he is racing it. You know, having studied mechanical engineering um, and being a racing driver, you know, it's a perfect combination. Uh, understanding the car and, you know, understanding the, the driving of the car, putting the two together, you come into the pits, sit down with the team, discuss, you know, what can be done to improve it, I think makes a 
a big difference. Over the, the three years, we have you know, fine-tuned and developed certain areas. After every race, you've got to look for something to try and find something to keep ahead. You know, this is probably one of the things that I dreamed about as a kid, to be where I am today. Restricted to just 330 kilowatts, the Engine Extreme Audi S4 production car racer is still indecently quick while handling is rear biased. Brakes need to be stomped on hard to work. 